And the opposition has also condemned the arrest. Our Trinamool leader, Mahuma Mitra, has said that it is actually extremely shocking. We've seen a number of opposition leaders coming out very strongly condemning Zubair's arrest from, from yourself, Shashi Tharoor, Rahul Gandhi, uh, Asaduddin Owaisi, across the spectrum. Yeah, Nidhi, it's absolutely shocking. I mean, especially um, when you see, you know, the Delhi police lately in the last two, one or two years have pretty much given up any pretense of following the law. And in this case, under 153A, 295A, these are both sections under for which the, the, the punishment is less than seven years. So the Supreme Court in the Amrish Kumar judgment has laid out very clearly that any section which has a, a punishment less than seven years, that you have to give notice except under very ex exceptional circumstances. And in which, in this case, how what is the exceptional circumstances that warrants bypassing of the guidelines? And this is complete abuse of prosecutorial um, discretion. A. Eh? And the second thing is, if you see the, if you see for what Zubair has been arrested, he's been called in for something else where he's got protection from the Delhi High Court. They've arrested him on something else. The whole thing is cloudy. Now the hilarious part of all this is, if you look at Miss Fringe Sharma, uh, the fringe element, Miss Sharma. Uh, she is meanwhile being protected by taxpayers' money and has not been arrested. Now, I think the sections under which she had been charged have also been exactly the same, 153A and 295A. So, I mean, you know, at least keep keep some semblance of what they call Akhoki Sharam. Keep something. There is no due process of law. It is just out there and open. And I can imagine the BJP doing this, but when the police of the Delhi city of Delhi state does this, it is shameful. And but, we all have to stand up because we're all going to be next. They're coming for all of us now. But Mahuba Moita, do you see a, a sort of a bigger pattern here of going after dissent, going after those who have, you know, cr called out the ruling establishment or criticized them or, you know, Zubair certainly was, you know, in the forefront of that, but as a fact checker, as a journalist, uh, which is what he's been doing, not just about the BJP, but across parties. It, it, the, both the BJP and what the current dispensation hate more than anything is today fact. They dislike fact and they dislike truth and they dislike anything that is logical and 2 plus 2 equals 4 and that is what Zubair stands for, that is what Alt News does and frankly they call out everyone. If I put out something that is not correct, Alt News will call that out. Now they hate anything that they like to live in this world of make-believe in fiction and propaganda where only the truth that the BJP puts out is the truth. So some, someone like an Alt News, someone like a Zubair or a Pratik is fundamentally at odds with the basic DNA of this dispensation. So obviously this is, you know, this is something that we knew this would happen, but I'm surprised that it is happening so fast and with absolutely no thought to due process. I think with each win, for example, they won these two seats in UP and now they think that, oh, actually the people of India are endorsing this. I think with every win that the BJP get in some random bipole somewhere, they seem to think that now if this has emboldened us even more, Indians want this, people are liking this, we don't have to listen to the law because Indians are rewarding us in the ballot box for all of our actions, be it bulldozing, be it arrest, be it clamping down on dissent. Unfortunately, this is what's happening. But so, Mama Maitra, what would you say to those people who are actually celebrating Zubair's arrest today? And there are plenty of them doing it right now, thinking that it would never happen to them. You know, well, like I said, what the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. And Gandhi said something, he said that whenever in history you have seen that something has seemed insurmountable and that truth will never triumph, in the end truth has always triumphed. So I think we keep strong and we keep our spine straight and we just stand for what is right because history will judge us. So right. this will end, this cannot go on.